Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today we're going to be teaching you how to download and install the All the Mod 6 mod pack in a Minecraft. We're going to be doing that using the Curse Forge launcher. And we're going to be going over every single step of getting it, including adding some more RAM just in case you do need it. It's going to be pretty cool. But first and foremost though, this video is sponsored by Apex Minecraft hosting. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server running All the Mod 6 quickly and easily in just a few clicks. We actually love and trust Apex so much to us our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them, and they truly are the easiest way Way to set up your very own all the mod 6 server so check them out at the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and get all the mod 6 installed and if you were to host a server on apex you'd have to do this anyway so it makes it perfect nevertheless first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below that's going to take you here this is the official curse forge download page for minecraft where we want to go ahead and click on download for windows when we do that it's going to go ahead and immediately download in the bottom left of google chrome Curse Forge, specifically the Curse Forge launcher. If you are on Mozilla Firefox, it might ask you to save it in the center of your screen. You might not, though. It might just download. It kind of just depends on what your different settings are. Then we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we do have the Curse Forge installer. If this isn't on your desktop, it's going to be found in your downloads folder, which you can access via the Windows button in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, though. But click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads and this downloads file folder. And in here, you will be able to find CurseForge. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Let's go ahead and double click on CurseForge. And we do that, it's going to install just like any other program. It's going to open up an installer and kind of walk us through everything. So as you can see, welcome to CurseForge on Overwolf. We can click next. Let's kind of go through this whole entire process. Do we want to create desktop shortcuts or not? If you do, you can go ahead and select that. If you don't, you don't have to. It's kind of that whole thing. And you do need to read and agree to their terms. And we can then go ahead and click Next. And now it's going to download, install, and kind of do everything it needs to do to get Curse Forge set up. Now, it is going to install Overwolf as well. And I have a video explaining the in-depth of the Curse Forge and how of the Curse Forge launcher and how it works with Overwolf. But the short of it is, Overwolf is the company that owns CurseForge, and they kind of need the Overwolf app to be able to run CurseForge. They kind of work together. It's a little weird, but it is what it is. As you can see, it now successfully installed CurseForge and Overwolf, and we can go ahead and click Launch here. It's also created, as we asked, a CurseForge desktop icon as well. So it's preparing for the little first launch, as you can see, and then it's going to go ahead and open right on up. Wait for it. Right like so. So now it is opened up CurseForge. Gives you this cool loading screen, and then it's going to show us to where we can actually get our mods installed. So there is an intro here. I'm going to skip this, but you should probably go through it, just kind of get the overview. But as you can see, right here front and center, here is Minecraft. Now, we do already have one mod pack installed, but if we didn't, it would look like this. So as you can see, it would look like this right here. To get all the mod 6, just go ahead and click Browse Mod Packs here. It is right at the top because it is one of their featured mod packs, but just in case it isn't, you can set your P at the top for all the mods 6 and hit Enter. And there it is, all the mod 6. To install this, just hover over it and click on this orange install button on the right hand side on all the mod 6. It's that simple. And I was going to go ahead and download things and do everything kind of it needs to do to get all the mod 6 installed. It has all the mods, right? It has a ton of mods, not necessarily every single mod, but all of the mods that are really, really good. Uh, and it's going to take a second. It's kind of what I'm getting at. So go ahead, just take a sit back, let it install these mods. I think it's over 200. Just sit back, relax while this installs, and we'll meet you once it's finished. Also, it may say it's like at 100% or something like that. Just ignore that if it does. If you get this little spinning wheel of like non-responsiveness, don't worry about that either. Just wait it out. It's going to be okay. I would recommend, honestly, setting this to install and walking away from your computer for five minutes because when you come back, it's probably going to be done. And if it's not, just walk away for five more, come back, and you'll be good. It can really stress you out if you sit and watch it the entire time. So I wanted to say that as well. Anyway, let's go ahead, let this finish, and I'll see you once it's done. So here we are. As you can see, all the mod 6 is now finished. How do you know that? Because this install button has turned to an orange play button. You can click this play button if you want, or you can go back and click on my mod packs, and here is all the mod 6 here as well. So whenever you're from the my main my, or Curse Forge area, if you click on Minecraft, you'll see all the mod 6 here, where you can click the orange play button as well. And that's going to go ahead, install the Minecraft launch, and open this up. Now you will need to log into Minecraft if you're on a Windows 10 version of Minecraft, or not Windows 10, sorry, a Microsoft version of Minecraft. You can actually click go back, add account, and do the Microsoft login. However, I don't have that, so I'm going to go ahead and just log on in right here. I will meet you after a quick jump cut. All right, so here we are logged in, and as we can see, all the mod 6 is already selected there. If it's not, click this little drop-down box and select all the mod 6. However, you may have to click on installations and click on modded to make it appear, and then finally, you can click on play on all the mod 6. Now, 
If you've done all that, it's done out there, you may have to close out of the Minecraft launcher and click play again. This time it doesn't have to install anything. For some reason, sometimes it doesn't originally link all the mod 6 or any mod pack uh, for that matter on the first load, so you might have to reload it right like so. But nonetheless, here we are in game with all the mods 6 there, not in game, in the Minecraft launcher. Now, you may need to add more RAM. To do that, click on installations up here and then hover over all the mod 6, click on these three lines on the right hand side, click on edit, and then click on more options down here at the bottom. Now, by default, it actually dedicates four gigabytes to this. That's probably plenty but if you do want to up it you can change for example 40,000 or 4096 to like 6096 and that's roughly six gigabytes of ram i'm gonna leave it at four gigabytes though that should be fine however if you do have any issues in launching or you're lagging once you get in game and you got a decent computer you're like what's going on it's probably the ram and that's how you can add it nevertheless let's go ahead and click hover over this and click on the green play button if you're from the main menu you can just make sure it's selected here on the left and click the green play button you will get a warning but of course you're playing modded minecraft you know what you're doing so go ahead and click play there after you check that box and that's going to open up all the mod six it's that simple and that easy. It, it, it's really not overwhelming to get this installed, but it is now installed and we just kind of have to wait, right? It's going to take a second to open this up and it takes a very long time to open up mod packs. It, it kind of blows some people's minds. Let it sit there. Let it load. Let it freeze. As you can see, it looks like it's frozen here, right? Is it working anymore? It is. Just let it do it. Just sit back, relax, go get a drink, come back, watch a YouTube video, and then finally it'll be installed and it'll be up and running. The first time it's going to take forever and much, much longer than it's going to take subsequent times after that, right? So the first time you launch up this mod pack or any mod pack, it's going to take much longer than it is the second time or even the third time because each time it's kind of figuring out the files it needs and, and putting things in line and it's not going to have to generate as many new files as it's having to do right now. So you did see there a second ago, this did barely move up. Eventually this launcher will close out and when it does, I will pick back up there for a second just to show you how long from the time the launcher closes out to when it finally opens up Minecraft to then <laughs> finally how long it takes. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this out at 3.30 2 p.m. We'll see how long it takes to Minecraft actually opens or until Minecraft actually opens. So two minutes later at 334 it has closed out of the Minecraft launcher and at this point you might be wondering is it going to work and yes it is there we go it's now loading up Forge. Now this is going to take a long time as well it is currently 334 and I will see you whenever finally we're in the Minecraft main menu obviously it's going to go from this screen to like the actual Minecraft loading screen and then finally into the game. Um, my computer isn't the best though so it's going to lag if I record and do that at the same time so I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and go ahead and uh you know, see how long this exactly takes. But again, it's 3.34 right now. We'll see where it's at once it's finally open. So we started this at 3.34. It is currently 3.37. My math's correct. That's going to be 34 to 35, 35 to 36, three minutes there. Um, yes, that is, I, I don't know, for some reason doing weird time math like that messes with my head. But anyway, three minutes there to get this open much longer than vanilla Minecraft would take. So just be prepared for that. Also, the resolution is a bit weird. So we're going to go ahead and sort that really fast, right like so. There we go, a bit better. And you can see we've got the custom menu here. We are in all the mod six. There's no denying this is up and running and working and all of that awesome stuff. So that is that. I am going to jump into single player here because why not? Might as well. And we'll just name it new world. I do like to be in creative. And yeah, that's kind of that. You can just create a new world and it's going to log you on in there. I'll do another quick jump cut here because again, computer's not that great and generating a world is hard on a computer. So also again, if you go non responding, as I've said before, just let it do its thing. It's okay. Just don't mess with it. If you click on it too much, it might come up and turn white like this. Again, it's okay. Just let it work itself out. It is going to work. It just needs to run its algorithms and do everything it needs to do because when you're generating a world like this, it's adding in custom biomes, doing all that. It puts a lot of stress on the Minecraft World Gen Engine. It's not used to. So it can run a little slow, thus making it go not responding. But it is responding. It's doing things in the background. It's kind of moving, kind of slowly, but it's moving. Doing everything it needs to do to get that world generated. So anyway, there we go. Boom. It worked through it, and now it's launching. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we are in game, and then we will uh, we'll see you once we get there. So here we are in game. We can go ahead and open up our you know, book here to kind of get started. This is the uh, Artisal Tomb, which I think is yeah, just one of the uh, mod packs or one of the, uh, the uh, mods installed here. As you can see, over 40 different pages in just enough items and over 17 different mod pack pages. I mean, it's crazy. All of the different stuff that is installed here. Too much for us to go over, but I don't think there is any doubt that this is up and running. So there you have it. That's how you can download and install all the mod 6 in Minecraft 1.16. Dot five. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I say 1.16.5, that is the current version, but it could change. But All the Mod 6, nonetheless, is now downloaded and installed. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Host your own All the Mod 6 server on Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can take Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. That's really cool. I wonder what mod adds this in. Uh, oh, is this uh, 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 Astral Sorcery? 
probably because it looks like these blocks are from that. That's pretty cool. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.